Good morning, Bruce and Kim. Jarl Kubat here with West USA Realty and Arizona 55 Plus Communities. Yesterday, I visited Sun City West to get you a video tour of the home that you inquired about. Those video clips are to follow here shortly. If you've stumbled into this video looking for a home for yourself in an Arizona 55 Plus community, resort style community, or golf community throughout the greater Phoenix metro area, my name is Jarl Kubat with West USA Realty and Arizona 55 Plus Communities. You can visit my website at www.justjarl.com, that's J-U-S-T-J-A-R-L.com, or give me a call at 480-710-6326. The video that you're about to watch is of a home in Sun City West. It's a large 55-plus community in the north west valley of the greater phoenix metro area there's 20,000 plus homes within the community there's five rec centers swimming numerous swimming pools an aquatic center fitness centers you name it this community has it all okay little older community it was built from the late 1970s to the mostly to the late 1990s there's a few pockets that were built in the uh, early uh, late early 2000s um, the rec center fee for the community, there's not an HOA fee, but there's a rec center fee that's $497 per person a year. And you have a one-time uh, capital improvement fee when you first buy a home in this community. It's $3,700. So enjoy the video. If you have any questions, uh, please reach out to me. Kim and Bruce, I hope you enjoy the video. Thank you. I look forward to seeing you soon. Take care and have a great day. So Kim and Bruce, I'm standing in front of the home here in Sun City West that you inquired about, wanted a little more information on. I've walked all the way around the outside of the home here. You know, the shingles look really good from the ground, but in the front and especially in the back, there's a dark swath about three foot wide and the whole length of the roof uh, of dark shingles. So I, I think that's tell me something's wrong with those shingles we wouldn't know until we actually got to a home inspection and a home inspection will cost you about four hundred dollars with a termite inspection and then uh, after that uh, we we have three choices at the end of that home inspection and we've been through that uh, before with you on another one so so we can discuss that in further detail over the phone uh, but uh, the whole exterior has been recently painted the heating and cooling system is on top of the roof in the back um, and uh, it's been replaced at least once if it probably it's this is probably the second system I would still say it's probably eight or ten years old a lot of the bushes here in front are kind of overgrown we've got a nice epoxy coated driveway on front sidewalk here but again the exterior of the home with the exception of maybe the shingles uh, is in pretty good condition and uh, when you stand on the front patio and look straight out, you're looking to the south. So stepping just inside the front door here, you come into this front room. Right over there where that doorway, that goes into the kitchen area. That, you'll see a, a uh, electrical outlet area in the uh, ceiling that would have been your formal dining area and then uh, you've got this whole front room it's tile it's 18 inch tile all laid on the diagonal this hallway over here goes towards the guest bathroom and the bedrooms and then you had a uh, coat closet when you first enter this uh, front door standing in the kitchen looking out into that front room towards the front door and then towards your uh, dining area here. I don't think they were using it for that. I think they were using this whole room as a, uh, a, for, a, a formal family room. Standing in the Eden area part of the kitchen, they replaced a few of the uppers, kind of a hodgepodge of cabinets here. You got Corian countertops, but these are the original base cabinets. And then they replaced some cabinets over here. Not quite sure why they didn't do all of them, <laughs> um, but uh, but uh, the the other cabinets, even though they're original, are in pretty good condition. Uh, this is your uh, family room here. A lot of people will take all those cabinets out and make this more of a, a larger family room. 
a little different tile in, in this area of the home. I think it's probably pretty hard to tell, but over there in the corner there's quite a dip in the flooring of the tile. Nothing is cracked and the tile isn't hollow sounding, so that's been there for quite a while, probably from when they originally built the house. I don't think it's a settlement issue, but um, it does really dip there. That should have been poured with some thin set to level out the floor more. Again, I don't think it's a structural issue. I think it was just uh, when it was poured uh, all those years ago when they first built the home. Looking back into the kitchen from that family room area, on the far end there you'll see another doorway that goes into the laundry room and garage area. So here we are in the garage. Now they've got uh, five or six bundles of shingles over there in the corner. So that tells me maybe they did do something with the roof, but the middle part dark swath that I'm seeing from the ground could, be, could mean that those shingles haven't sealed down, or it could be a second layer of shingles and, and they hadn't quite laid right. So again, until uh, the, the shingles do look really good from the ground, I didn't see a lot of shingle dust on the ground so until we actually are able to get up on that roof and take a look I won't know for sure. We've got some of the original tile left here. There's three different kinds of tile. The kitchen has a small tile and then the family room has a little different tile and then the front uh, formal living room area, dining area, that has an 18 inch tile. So three different kinds of flooring going on in the home. This is your laundry area. A lot of people have walled this off and made, make that heat and cool that and have more uh, storage or even an office area for the house, but very large garage and laundry area. You have a sink back over here in the corner uh, by your hot water heater. Stepping in from the garage, looking back into the uh, kitchen area. Again, just looking at that family room and kitchen from uh, the hallway where I uh, go into the bedrooms. You can see the drop down ceiling in the kitchen. And you can see the patio door over there in the corner. Here is the, the master bedroom just off the kitchen. Plenty of room for a king size bed between those two windows. This room is carpet. And uh, the master bath is over there in the corner and this is a walk-in closet and then looking back out into the hallway you got a couple more closets looking straight ahead to the guest bath this is your uh, master bath large uh, walk-in shower tiled all the way to the ceiling that's all been new and updated looks like the toilet's been replaced no vanity in here just a uh, pedestal sink Not a real big walk-in closet, uh, but uh, you do have one. So carpet in this uh, guest bedroom as well. Carpet in both bedrooms, otherwise the rest of the house is tile. And uh, the front room and hallway are all the same tile. And then the kitchen area and the family room are, are both uh, two different kinds of tile. So uh, still in that guest bedroom, nice, nice size second uh, bedroom here. Another walk-in closet there. That's directly behind the closet in, in uh, your master bedroom. So if you were going to do some remodeling, it would be pretty easy to add another wall closet here and then uh, take, take that closet uh, as part of your master and make a much larger walk-in closet for the master bedroom because this is a very long uh, bedroom. Looking into the guest bathroom here. Uh, everything's nice and clean. Original tower and shove, I would, uh, tower, sh tub and shower original, I would think. And then here's your uh, vanity for the ba guest bathroom. And then we're back to that front room there. Looking out under your back patio that's all screened in here and all tiled. So that 
a patio door looks into your family room. And then you've got a couple of doors, three doors. There's, there's one over there to go out into the backyard, one straight ahead, and one over here to the left. Exterior paint, again, is really good condition. You've got a few overgrown bushes in the yard, especially in the front. But uh, really uh, quite a nice, peaceful backyard. And it looks like we have uh, two fruit trees. So here we are in the backyard. Again, this faces north. The house is a north-south orientation, sitting on the north side of the street. And uh, so that's your screened-in patio over there, and then you've got a couple of fruit trees here that they've kept sheared. But a nice, nice size yard here. That house over there with the solar panels is straight in back of you. Lots of big trees here in this yard. You got that nice big pine tree. And then here's the back of the home. And as I mentioned previously, I, I think we've got an issue going on with the shingles. It's kind of hard to tell probably off the video camera, but there's a dark swath right in the middle of the roof that goes all the way over to the AC. And we've got that same thing in the front of the house. Now the shingles look good from the ground, but but, it, but uh, I think that's an issue with the shingles up there. And that would, uh, we'd find out more with a home inspection.